What's going on YouTube? Geosno right here. So in today's video I have some great news for those of you who are using Kawabunga. The version 10 has been released. It's a major update containing a lot of features and a lot of improvements, especially to the way themes are applied. Finally, themes no longer have blurriness and you can theme the clock icon and stuff like that. A lot of things have changed. This video is brought to you by AnyUnlock, a software that allows to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM and even remove SimLock. Definitely check the program out in the link below. So just a couple of hours ago, the developer behind Kawabunga Bunga or one of the developers behind Kawabunga posted this, Kawabunga version 10 is out and it's now available here on GitHub version 10.0.0. There are a lot of things that have changed. As you can see, this is a pretty big changelog. It says brand new theming system provides less compression and more applying consistency and the clock icon can now be themed. Added more status bar options, for example, changing the battery detail text, show Wi-Fi cellular signal strength, changing battery icon capacity, changing Wi-Fi cellular signal strength parts, added settings app customizer, for example, custom image, custom footnote, remove icons, labels, previews, added calculator error message changer, added changing CC background blur color, adding hiding low power alerts and extra settings, remade springboard tools UI and new background frequency option, background frequency options now show how often they apply the tweaks, rearranged some tabs and app now hangs for a little while prior to respring in order to give the springboard time to restart. This should help issues with tweaks not applying. So if you had issues in the past, with tweaks not applying with Kalbanga or not being very consistent, then this should be fixed. There are some important notes though. The preferences for springboard tools and colors will be reset. Wallet and calendar do not theme. And there is a warning, do not ignore abort messages. It's there to prevent a bootloop. Initially there was an issue with the version 10.0.0. It was released a couple of days ago and it only stayed released for a couple of uh, hours before it was pulled because it caused a couple of bootloops. Apparently the bootloop issue is not fixed, but it does now detect if you are about to boot loop and it tells you what to do in order to prevent that boot loop. So while the issue behind it is not completely fixed, you now can avoid the boot loop if you follow the instructions because Kawabanga now detects that you are about to go into a boot loop and it tells you how to fix that. So it should be safer. You can also find Kawabanga here on our website on MDC apps over here on iDeviceCentral.com. You can find all applications based on mac 30 Cow, including Kawabanga over here, WDB remove tree app limit, files escaped, whatever. And once you have it, you can sideload it with whatever you prefer and then you have it on your device. It looks like this. You can see how it looks like in here. You can change the app icon if you want to. If you don't like that icon, there are multiple options over here. You can see here the springboard tools, they now look a little bit different. Then you have in here the new status bar tools that are available. And of course the battery icon capacity, whatever. And then of course you also have the calculator error message. You can change the text in here. You can make it say something else. I don't know, heck. And that would be your error message if you apply it. And now if you go into calculator and try to divide something by zero, you will get an error, which is now heck. So um, you can change that as well. It's a nice little tweak. Then you have the settings app customizer to you know change the icons in there remove labels change the image for your account but most importantly the themes now look okay so i'm gonna apply basically let's go ahead and see a theme i'm gonna go with this theme over here Felicity Pro. It's downloading the theme. And once the theme is downloaded, we're going to go ahead and select Felicity Pro and apply themes. And as you can see, it now does the whole thing. And I'm going to respring. And now, as you can see, the clock does have a theme. It looks pretty well. And I also have the YouTube application. And now you can see that the YouTube application doesn't have the compressed icon anymore. It looks proper. It looks well themed. In fact, all the icons look okay. They no longer have the blurriness and bad compression. So now themes are actually proper properly working on Kawabanga. So yeah, that's basically it. This is a major update. Definitely check it out. Version 10.0.0 available both on our website and on their GitHub account in here, version 10.0. You can definitely check it out for more features and even more no jailbreak tweaks. These do not require a jailbreak and these work on iOS 16.1.2 and lower all the way down to iOS 14, 15 on all devices. So definitely check it out. Thank you for watching. I'm Geosnow. Peace out.